guys welcome back to my channel my name is Brie if you are new here and welcome back to another palette throwback Thursday in today's video I'm gonna be playing around with the BH cosmetics cotton candy palette really cute colors on the inside I do like the way that this look turned out so if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look then just keep on watching all right as per usual already primed my lids and set my brow bone with like a skin colored powder and I'm gonna go darkest to lightest with this palette and with the primer that I'm wearing today. So I'm gonna start off by going in with light and airy and building that up on my outer corner. I have used, I've had this palette for a while since shortly after it came out. I, I think I've used it all of one time. And I remember not being the most excited about it, which is kind of why I never really went back to it. So I'm trying it with a different primer today. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer, which is a little bit tackier and a little bit brighter. So hopefully colors pop on it really well. And I'm gonna start going, I'm gonna go lightest to darkest to hopefully kind of help that blend and not make things kind of disappear. And so far this color is pretty. Next up, I'm gonna go into the shade Carnival on a big fluffy brush and blend that into my crease. Really quick, I'm just gonna run back with my just kind of skin color shadow. Individually, the colors work well, but once you start to blend them together, they kind of start to disappear into each other. All right, and then next up, I'm gonna go into a mix of sugar and swirl and apply that to the open space on my lids. So I'm gonna start off with sugar all over. And then I'm gonna dip into Swirl and use that to blend those two together. All right, obviously a very simple eye look. Um, there's not very much for me to work with in this palette, but I'm gonna put kind of probably the rest of the colors on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna jump off, toss on a little bit of a wing, toss on my base, and I will be back to keep working on this look. All right, so for my under eyes, I'm gonna start off by lining my lower lash line with Sugar Plum, and then I'm gonna blend it out with Confection. And then for blush, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Rosy. I'm gonna top it off with the Sugar Glow Kit. I'm gonna use Gumdrop as kind of like a blush topper and then use Starburst as my highlight. Really quick, actually, I'm gonna go into the shade right here, Fluff, and use that as my inner corner highlight. All right, so I'm gonna jump off and finish up the rest of my face. I'll be back to tell you guys what I put on my lips and show you guys the final look. All right, guys, so this is the final look. For my lips, I went in with the Wet n Wild Bear to Comet Lip Liner, and then I went in with the NYX Shout Loud Satin Lipstick in Chic, and I just kinda like tapped it on my lips. I didn't like wanna do like a really thick layer. 
because it's a very pink lipstick and I didn't want to be like too over the top. But this is the final look and that is going to wrap up the palette throwback Thursday with the BH Cotton Candy palette. I'm at kind of like an impasse with it and I think what's holding me back from getting rid of it is actually that really bright pink shade, the, uh, the carnival shade. I think it's a really, really pretty shade, but just overall, like that dark pink that I put on my lids, where'd it go? The really light, um, confection shade didn't exist whatsoever. Um, the shimmers are like, okay. They're kind of thin and almost like a little bit sheer. They're, they're pretty and the colors are really pretty, but like they have, like, like this like that's what that one that I put on my lid looks like but once you start to blend it out it gets kind of sheer like you can see how sheer it is right there and it just doesn't have like the impact that I would want it to I'm gonna get rid of it it's just if I'm this hesitant about keeping it then why why would I keep it the like I have a lavender shade that works better I probably have a color similar to that and I know I have colors very similar to that. The shimmers, I probably got some shades that are closer to that. If I don't, then I clearly haven't been using this palette so much that I would miss them if they were gone. Like I, I really honestly can say I, this is the second time I've used this palette and I've had it for probably like eight or nine months. So that's on me. That's my fuck up right there. It just doesn't, it just doesn't vibe with me. The formula of the shadows just aren't quite as good as the other BH palettes that I have that I like more. So it's just, it's not worth me keeping. I'm sure that I have somebody in my life that would prefer it, either that or I will donate it. Somebody will get use out of it. That is going to wrap up today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite BH Cosmetics palette is if you have one. I would love to know. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!